Welcome to OneHundredBytes.com. In this video, we are going to see how to enable auditing and logging in WebLogic server. So, this auditing and logging comes in handy in various situations, like especially in uh, I mean big enterprises. If you want to uh, check who or all did whatever the operations in a in a, in a system, uh, this auditing will come into the picture. Let's say like if a user try to if an if an like unauthorized user try to log in uh, into your into your system, and this auditing will reveal the information about who try to log in and who whoever whatever did it actually. And the next is a logging. Logging comes in a part like where um like if you're if you're observing some issues. Uh, like uh, to debug further, uh, maybe like you can you can know that uh, for weblogic development team can help you. But before proceeding to that, uh, you may you may be asked to enable the logging uh, to give the logs for the development team to to look into it. Or maybe you can able to your development team can able to uh, resolve the issue by by just seeing that uh, logs. Well, I'll show it over both the things now. This tutorial, as usual, you need that a weblogic server should be installed and running. Uh, you can see that in a video in our weblogic series like how to install and create a domain so I have logged into the weblogic server okay for uh, lo like uh, logging for enable the auditing uh, you have to go to the security realm uh, my realm uh, actually auditing is a one of the providers in a security realm which is provided by the uh, weblogic server so in the if you see here in the providers, you will see a lot of uh, providers are there. One of the thing is an auditing. So by default, there will be no auditing provider will be uh, given by the weblogic. So I'm going to create a new uh, provider. So let's say like audit provide auditor actually. Uh, yeah. So we have created it, but uh, but we know that whatever the change, if you change something which is a critical critical one, and you need to be you need the servers to be restarted. Now I have restarted the server and logged into the WebLogic admin console. So uh, the default uh, uh, like uh, the default location where the auditing file will be stored is like in your domain server location. I'll show you where you can find it. So logs. Uh, like in your let's say this is your uh, domain home my base domain okay and in the servers admin server logs and it's a default audit recorder log I have already deployed an application called an auth project and I, uh, and I configured a DB authenticator uh, where only one user is allowed to log into that application let me try to log in so I'm going to log into the auth project URL Hundred by DB user password, and I'm logging in. Though we have configured this hundred by DB user one, uh, still we see authentication fail. Uh, let uh, like uh, before, uh, like we will enable the logging to find what is the reason. Before that, we will see in audit logger whether it is uh, uh, this event is logged or not. We'll we'll go to the admin log, the logs default auditor log. Go to the end. So there is a failure case. Yeah, it's failure and it's authentication audit event 100 bits db user failure exception so so we actually it's failed because of authentication exception uh, but with auditing you can't find what is the exact uh, like reason for fail failure so let's first and en let's enable the logging and try like what is the issue actually for this you need to go to the weblogic admin console go to the server uh, like under environment servers click your admin server and in the, in the tabs you have you will see the debug so just click that and you will find the lot of things actually in this like uh, which are the logs you want to enable so maybe i can enable the only the security related one so it will be under weblogic uh, like security so i am going to enable it okay now i have enabled the logging for only for security let me try to access that application again let's see like whether it's a what whether we can able to find the information required in the log file or not i'm logging in again so this authentication is failed let's see the log actually and the logs will go to the admin server log 
okay go to the end yeah there is one exception is there you see that authentication failed for user db1 we will go through we will we'll, we'll see above what is the problem actually so we will start from the starting actually uh, like first first we are trying to log in with the db user1 and the connection pool was initialized checking the connection get the connection look up connection get connection data source found is available all the informations are get logged for whatever you want and it connection is success and it's getting the password db authenticated password okay now we will find the what is the problem like you see like plain text password is not allowed and unable to pass the stored hashed password that means like the 100 bytes db user uh, user one is stores using the plain text password which is stored in the database for this you need to uh, you need to enable the plain text password configuration in the uh, db authenticator sql authenticator provider specific plain text passwords are enabled and save it now it's everything is saved okay let me try again to access this uh, that application okay 100 by db user one login yeah now we are able to log in so so with the so if you see that with the help of the logging we have uh, we have fixed the issue uh, configuration issue and uh, and and logged into the system's uh, uh, application successfully let's see like whether the event is uh, enabled uh, logged into, into the auditor log or not so for that go to the admin uh, admin log folder auditor log I'm going to the end okay let's see whether it is success or not there are a lot of events were logged in ours is 100 bytes at uh, db user one so we are logged into the okay auth project you see here audit record begin severe is success authorization audit event okay and the user is 100 bytes db user one and uh, what is it what it belongs to it belongs to group one uh, actually it is belonging and which url you are trying to access the application is auth project and the context path this context path is slash or uh, which are the next to the port uh, as you know everyone knows that and the URA and what is the method your HTTP method you are using because we are I'm, I'm in, in my application I'm trying to get method actually okay so uh, so this is the way you have to enable the auditing and logging more tutorials at 100bits.com thanks for watching this video